<sighs> Damn, Q. Baby, you did that. What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy, Shy. Shy vs. Everybody Podcast. Voice of Detroit. Motherfucking podcast MVP in this motherfucker, man. The champ is here! Shaw vs. A Bite Podcast, episode 138, man. Got a special guest in the building. We got a motherfucking actor. Goddamn motherfucking model with this motherfucker cuz. You be getting your cooking on her too and shit, dog. Hey, hey man, I do, Chef a, and the cook. I do a little bit of a little bit of everything. You know I'm, I'm writing something too, you feel me? For sure. He started yeah. films such as uh Cheddar Boys, uh One More Flip, uh Forgive Us Not. And he was also in uh, McGraw Ave season two, man. Tookie Baby. You know what I'm saying? We got Chris Collins in the building. Man, appreciate it. Good with you, bro. Shit, man, I'm good. I'm living. How y'all feeling? Man, I'm good, dog. I appreciate you coming, dog. I appreciate y'all appreciate having me. Appreciate you being on time and not saying, you know what I'm saying, being an hour late, like some <laughs> niggas, dog. Nah, man, you got you, you got to be on time, bro. Bro. You got to be professional. Bro, you niggas do not give a fuck about people's time, dog. But, uh, man, we start everything off with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times wait for people to, you know what I'm saying, give them their flowers once they already leave this earth. You know what I'm saying? Instead of telling him or her how much we care about them while they can still, you know what I'm saying, receive the flowers. Mm-hmm. But... Can't, can't be nobody in your media circle. When I say media circle, I'm talking about like mom, dad, siblings, kids, lady. It got to be somebody out of that circle. So you got somebody you want to get some flowers to? Have to two people? Yeah, go ahead. Hell yeah. My homie, she from uh, Chicago. She she is a rock for a nigga. Okay. She, her, she, she's a rock for a nigga. But my, my real shout out is murder. Okay. Boy, when I, as soon as I met Dog, stepped in the big brother role immediately. He, he one of the only niggas... I, I, when I be tripping, he'll pull me to the side like, bro, mm-hmm. cut that shit. You can't, you can't do that. Dog. So murder. Then he, he give me game every time I see him. Yeah, yeah. Murder for sure. It's important to have somebody like an OG or somebody just to give you some game when you fucking up, dog. Man. And it's important for you to accept it too, because sometimes niggas be like, man, I don't want that shit. Oh, yeah. You feel me? It'd be too good to get that motherfucking game or whatever that you're trying to, you know what I'm saying, preach to you. Yeah. And then it don't even, I don't even be, it don't even be on no fuck up type shit. Like, if I bump into murder today, he'll pull me to the side and get to dropping off jewels. Because mm-hmm. he, he be telling me all the time, he be like, you about to go through what I went through. Yeah. This is what you got to do. You got to move like this, like, chill, sure. take it. Murder. Hell yeah, shout out to Murder. Yeah, what's, uh, what's your what's your homegirl from Chicago? What's her name? Tyra. All right, all right. I, 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 I never yeah. want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, yeah. my, that's my dog, though. She, we ain't we ain't known each other a long time, but she made an impact for sure. For sure, hell yeah, hell like, yeah. Like, I think every nigga need a female friend like her. No, what they they posted up, Toots. Mm-hmm. They say every nigga need a female Toots. Mm-hmm. A friend like Toots, yeah. she, she's my Toots. Duh, like, but when you, all right, female friends, bro. Is it hard to have them? When you got a lady, bro, especially like depending on how how shit might be a bad little chick, you know what I'm saying? Like your girl might be feeling some type of way. Like, is it hard to have a female friend really get the trust and understanding of your lady? Like, this is just my homie. Nope. As long as you honest, shit. If you if you honest and your lady got a problem with it, y'all need to figure some shit out. But nah, that shit ain't hard. A lot of my a lot of my friends is females. Mm-hmm. Like if I if I go out, you gonna see a female with me. Yeah. It's a platonic relationship. For sure. For sure. So. Yeah. Nah, that shit ain't hard. What about on the flip side though. I mean, well, she like she one of those girls who got a lot of brothers, but they ain't really her brother. Yeah, I, I got a lot of sisters. That's not really. Oh well, no, I ain't got yeah. a lot of sisters, but that's not yeah. really my sisters. But you feel me? As long as, as long as it's truth right there, mm-hmm. and you ain't sitting there like if, if you say that shit, and then dog come around, it's like some sneaky shit, yeah. and I peep the way he look at For you. Sure. You know yeah, how yeah. nigga look. Then you, and then it's like, yo, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Now can she be like, hey, man, me and um, me and Craig, you know, we fucked one time. But we realized we wasn't, you know, saying we we couldn't really, you know, have a relationship. We just understood that we just cool. What conversation going with? Like you, you like, all right, bet I'm I'm good with there. Or... Shit, you gotta check. It... You gotta check his temperature at that. Well, you ain't really gotta check no nigga. Don't ever check no nigga behind your bitch. But... No, for sure, fast. But I mean, shit, as long as, as long as shit genuine. Yeah. Cause I I, I got relationships like that. Yeah. I yeah. didn't crack somebody, and we we both sat there and was like, yeah, no, this shit ain't gonna work. Yeah, sure. <laughs> this shit ain't gonna work. We we could be friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but that's that's again with the truth, like. When I when I whenever I do get a lady, she gonna know or bill. Uh-huh. I'm a, like when baby girl walking up before I hug her, yo. Yeah. This this a little yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for and sure. She, she gonna know what I mean and I'm gonna hug her, then we're gonna talk about it afterwards. So as long as that shit mutual. Yeah, yeah, man, I don't know. I can't I I, I ain't no understanding nigga, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, oh you fuck oh shit, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Man, I 
Everybody got a pass, baby. For sure, no, fast, fast. So, I just don't want to know your pass. Like, nah. <laughs> I want to see that nigga come over to a Super Bowl party and shit, dog. Oh, uh, yeah, no. Like, then, especially with me, it's different. So, like, a girl, if she fuck with me, she got to understand that, for one, it's, it's people that I fucked. For yeah. two, you about to see me on camera yeah. looking like I'm fucking people. So, you got to be, mm. you got to be all the way there. So, yeah. I, I can't trip off no shit for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. The homo, dog, this nigga be lifting weights shit. He, he one of the niggas I talked about when you gotta, like, tuck your chest in a little bit because <laughs> you ain't working out like that. I gotta hit the gym and shit good. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it's push-ups and peanut butter, baby. For sure. Double P. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, I, I was, I spoke on Salute and stuff, man, and, um, unfortunately, earlier this week, man, we lost, uh, the director of Melissa. Mm -hmm. Um, I know she was big to a lot of people. I saw a lot of people posting about her, talking about her. Um, uh, my dog, that was her, that was his cousin. Uh, shout out to my dog Mojo D, shout but uh, out. yeah, man, talk about how close you know what I'm saying you were with her and like if if any what kind of impact she had on you was coming on your way with this after shit. Missy, like like they like they say like they gonna say they gonna keep saying that Missy was there at the start of this. Mm -hmm. So when I we don't get into some shit when I first came home from jail, mm -hmm. I went to uh, take the Mulat Films acting class. Okay, she was my contact. Mm -hmm. I got in touch with her. I pull up. I'm talking to her about everything. She. Calling during class, like yo, you you know you killing it. Ah, yeah. keep going, keep going. Make sure you studying this, that, and the third. Sure. We had a we had an amazing relationship. Missy was one of the people that pushed you to do everything. She didn't believe in you before you believe in yourself. Yeah, she yeah. she. I remember one night she called me after we did an audition. It was me. It was me, Missy, Thomas T, on the call, mm -hmm. and um, this is when I first started. She called me after after we got off the phone with everybody else. She like. Boy, you know you can do this shit. Mm -hmm. Fuck is fuck, yeah, fuck you doing? Fuck yeah. is you doing? Stop yeah. holding back. Yeah. So Missy really put that confidence in me. She was one of the first people to put that confidence in me. For sure. Like right after murder did. So Missy yeah. had a, a lasting impact on the on the film community here. Yeah. You, you it wouldn't yeah, be what it is man. without her. So damn yeah. Rest in peace to her, yeah. man. And like the crazy said. thing is, a couple days before she passed, I tried calling Missy. Okay. Because I ain't heard from her in a minute. So I tried calling, tapping in, she ain't never answered. I figured she was either filming or she was gonna get back to me. Then like three days later, yeah, people that, start posting. Damn, I'm like, damn, like, what? And that it was like that? some shit that niggas wasn't expecting. So man. rest in peace to her and shit, man, and, um, and prayers to the family and shit. Yeah. But man, with, with that, when people like pass away, bro, like even if I don't know them, I start thinking about my own life and like how I need to make things pop off and shake and, and move before, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that man. happened to me. I got kids, I got a wife, so I gotta make sure I'm, I'm around. And I gotta make sure I lead them in the right direction so they can see how you know what I'm saying you're supposed to go about things. Yeah, that 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 got me thinking like that too. And like just mending relationships with people. It got oh, me on, on some on some like, bro. Yeah. Life ain't promise, especially being from the east side. We know that. Yeah. So man. it's like I'm trying to tap in with certain people, like, you know, I ain't I ain't really got no issue with you. We gotta yeah. there's some people I gotta talk to. Yeah, no, uh, for sure. But, for sure. Cause like I said, even if y'all agreed not to be like we might not be how we was rocking, but hey, yeah. cause like ain't no point for me to even hold this grudge with you. You know what life, life way too short. Man, hell yeah. Then you don't want to be right there saying that speech. You know what I'm saying? We get them two minutes, you know what I'm saying, at the funeral and shit, saying what you wanted to say to them. You should have said it. Yeah, yeah. no. For, we ain't trying to be no woulda, coulda, shouldas around here, baby. For sure. Hell yeah. So y'all got some beef out there. Pass that shit up, man. Y'all ain't got to be friends, but just pass man, that shit up. Come on now. Now, uh, the year almost over, bro. You been doing a lot of shit, man. Oh, man. You got some shit coming too, and the year ain't even over, nigga. So yeah. talk to me about your year, man. Some ups, some downs. Like, you know what I'm saying? What's been going on with you? First off, I don't look at my downs as downs. My downs is blessings, man. For sure. It's a lesson to learn everything. Yeah. So all that down talk, we don't I don't really get into all of that. But For sure. um filming, bro, it's been it's been it's been one of the ones. Hey, hell yeah. I just did I just got my first stage play, which okay. I'm shooting later which I'm doing later tonight. Okay. At Peace Lutheran Church in Southfield. I had to get the plug in. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, What's the name of it? It's called Hero and the Hag. I okay. am the lead in the play. Dope, dope, so dope. it's a romantic comedy. It's funny. Yeah. Pop out. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, man, just knocking out these films, making connections. I would have met uh, a lady named Maya, who mm -hmm. was a manager in the industry. She falling back doing her own thing. Mm -hmm. She a plug. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Shout out sure. to Maya. She to Maya. she she the truth. Yeah. Um, that's been a high. And then just being able to knock out these series, family ties on the way. Shout out Thomas. Shout oh, yeah. out Kills. Uh, I got to lead and make it out. Basketball movie dropping December 30th. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah. out to uh, Plus Productions. Y'all, that whole team over that way. Okay. Uh, Seven Mile Buck. Shout out to y'all. Yeah. Um, y'all mama LB. That whole team. Family ties. And uh, 
obviously the McGraw premiere, bro. Hell yeah, that's like, big. Every it's been a blessing. Man, hell yeah, he's doing big things here. I'm be like you, cuz. Hell yeah, so what's up, bro? Now, do you like what's some shit that you learned about yourself this year, dog, that you might have surprised you? Like, damn, I didn't know I was even capable of this, or I didn't know this, or you know what I'm saying? Shit. At being accepting. Yeah. <laughs> being accepting, bro. Cause it's like I, I tried I tried dating somebody and it was um it was like that thing. Mm -hmm. She got a lot of niggas that she was cool with. Mm -hmm. And that's I really just found out I'm not accepting. Yeah. And I and I'm working with all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. But um and the forgiveness aspect, I ain't never been forgiven. Mm -hmm. But like I really feel like just getting stuff off my heart, that that's really surprised me for real. Mm -hmm. And then just the little buzz that's coming with everything that's coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, a, sure. it's a little weird. Yeah. I got to get used to it. Well, but. Weird from like niggas, like you said, my man said, damn, it's, it's funny seeing you in person. Like when you go into the store, like, yeah, cuz I know. Hey, like that, that I fuck with that. Yeah. But it'd be them people like, <laughs> like I, I work cleaning stadiums at night, right? Yeah. So all the McGraw shit was coming out. I walk in, like three niggas just staring. <laughs> and they just staring. Like, say I'm, something, girl. I'm, I'm looking like. <laughs> Come on, man. We at we at work. I ain't got time for this. I know I don't know you. I yeah. can't have no beef with you. What's up? Like took them about forty minutes. They finally woke up. You be on the west side. I know you from somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'm like, uh, nah, man. It's McGraw. That's all oh, he. From. Hell yeah. So like that, just that getting used to that. Mm -hmm. But like that, I love that. Yeah. Cause a lot of people be trying to hold in. They don't want to seem like dick suckers. And yeah, that's shit, it, man. Come just, on, man. Just say what up, bro. Yeah, <laughs> just man. Say what up, <laughs> man. Hell yeah, dog. That shit weak as hell, dog. Man. Yeah, you say what up? It's all okay. It's okay because niggas be like, "Do I want to seem like I'm?" You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you said, I'm, I'm but, dick sucking. Like nigga, you just you but see it, a nigga, you you recognize him. What up, dog? You yeah, know what I'm saying? But it make me feel weird when you just staring, like you and your homeboy, like. <laughs> <laughs> then they look away, like, "Come on, bro. Now nah, I think y'all on something. Now nah, I gotta." Yeah, duh, bro. Now you, like I said, you, you know, you just talked about all the shit that you got going on. You know, what I'm saying this year. What's some shit that 2023? What's some shit that you got want to accomplish? Some goals, like, or are you that type of nigga that set out goals? On New Year's Eve, and like, all right, man, I want this, that, 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 or you just go with the flow. I, I typically go, typically go with the flow. I used to do that whole New Year's thing. Then I realized with myself by like February, I was like, fuck that. <laughs> so, so now like, I wake up if something on my heart heavy, I pray about it. Yeah. And then literally everything, everything happened like that. Yeah. So, uh, one thing I do want to accomplish though, I do want to get like a commercial agent. Okay. So I can book some national commercials. Mm -hmm. That bitch is pay. Yeah, yeah, no, for yeah. sure. My brother, that, is, that nigga, man, man, but he eat off that shit, bro. Dog, man, cause he be doing his little acting shit. He went to Cali, but he was like, man, fuck this. He went back to Texas, and he be shit. Ever since he moved to Texas, his acting shit didn't grew more. Like, he doing like voiceovers for like cartoons and shit, like anime. He been doing a lot of good yeah. shit, though. So shit, shout out to you, my whole ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's that's some of the shit I do want to do, like commercials, voiceover, yeah. uh, that stuff. But a bigger a thing I really want to do is help take this independent thing to the next level. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody that came before me, Des Cortez, Murder, Diesel, the ladies, Deborah, Ebony, mm -hmm. Mina, everybody doing their thing. Like, what I want to do next year is put this bitch. Yeah, raise the yeah. bar, and that's how I be wanting to know. Like you know, y'all always get that label of Detroit acting, Detroit Tubi, all that shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to make it so you like? I'm in Hollywood, I'm in Atlanta, I'm like, I'm doing films, I'm, I'm major. Or are you good with the independent right? I, I do want to make that crossover mm -hmm. to let them niggas know what Detroit got. For sure, for but, sure. It's Detroit versus everybody, baby. I'm, Hell yeah. I'm rocking like that. You Hell yeah. Know. Bobby, one, I can't wait to see what y'all niggas like. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Be on one of them Hollywood movies. Like, man, that nigga was on motherfucking McGraw yeah. half, nigga. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That'd be dope but, as hell. But even even with that, like my homegirl, she always asks me, she's like, what do you really want to do? What I want to do is make that crossover, mm -hmm. get big as fuck, mm -hmm. and then come right back to Indy. Hell yeah. Shit, shit. That's, that, that ain't, that's going to take Indy to a whole nother level. That's what, that's where my head at. So yeah, yeah. I'm always gonna come back home, spread the love, spread the wealth. So for sure, for sure. What motivates you, dog? Like what, what, what keep you on your toes and shit, man? And make you like, all right, I gotta get this shit. Like, is it, is it the money? Is it the family? Is that you know what I'm saying? What motivates you every day? Shit, God first off. Yeah. Then my peoples, my people, like my my circle. Them niggas. Every time I come around, I'm so proud of you, nigga. Yeah, I, for sure. Nigga just talk, talking to me for thirty minutes about how proud of me. Yes, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Every for time sure. I hit the block, it's I'm so proud of you. Like that shit motivate me. Then my homeboys, they tell me they put me to the side. Like, bro, you motivate me. Mm -hmm. And it's it's like a, a weekly thing. I hear something every week. Mm -hmm. That shit keep a fire going. No, for sure. So for I'd sure. be like, and, and niggas be needing to hear that shit too, though. Oh, definitely, man. Definitely, duh. and just. 
knowing where I came from yeah. and never want to go back there, mm -hmm. knowing that I did so much to do the wrong thing, mm -hmm. I need to do just as much to do this. For sure. Because this, this going to pay me more than the wrong shit did, and the wrong shit was paying me. Hell yeah. So, Hell yeah, dog. Uh, For sure. Uh, I'm already know. I'm, 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 I'm already here, bro. I'm already here. What's 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 the uh what's the worst advice and best advice you received, dog? Like on this on this acting grind, bro. Boy, the worst advice was don't change, stay the same. <laughs> yeah, you everybody got it. Say that shit. You gotta change, bro. That that scared me. Mm -hmm. Uh, the best advice, murder. I remember, I finished the uh, Mulat Films acting class 2019. Mm -hmm. The first conversation me and Murder really had after I did a monologue in front of him, mm -hmm. I, I damn near remember everything word for word what he said. Mm -hmm. I think about that shit all the time. That is the best advice I ever got. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, best advice. It, it's going to, what, what we got, an hour? It's going to take me about an hour to say it's everything to, he said. Yeah, to just me. to get that shit out. Yeah. It, the, the, I'm, I'm going to go with this, the, the studying tip. Okay. Start off, he told me, he was like, start off one hour a week. Mm -hmm. Like one hour a week, mm -hmm. one hour a week. Yeah. Then it's going to go to one hour a day. Then it's gonna go to an hour and a half a day, mm -hmm. two hours. Next thing you know, you nine hours a day. I, I be looking up, bro. I study film so much now. Yeah, like I sit in the house all day. Yeah, and just study film. It's like, bro, this shit crazy. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So that's the best advice it got. And then it pay off. Yeah, I'm, I'm. My leads ain't even started streaming yet. People coming to me like, bro, oh you. Yeah, for sure. So hell all, yeah. that, all that studying, bro. Shout out to murder, bro. That advice. Yeah, yeah. Golden. Shout out to Murray, man. We still waiting for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we still waiting for you, cuz. Yeah. Now, uh, man, talking about growing Tell up, me. man. You already say you from the east side, man. Talk about, you know what I'm saying, growing up, who was in the household, man, how it was being a young Chris, man. Just me, my mama, and my little brother. Yeah. Being a young Chris was the dumbass. That nigga was <laughs> boy. Oh, some bullshit, huh? Man, I... What part of the east side? Where you from on east side? I grew up on Casual Moraine. Okay, little okay. one-bedroom apartment, me, my mama, and my little brother. Yeah. Then... Like the fifth, sixth grade, my mama moved us out to the birds. Okay. But I was still hop on my bike like a dumbass. Hell yeah, come back. Pull back. Hell like, yeah. But yeah, man, I was just doing dumb shit. Yeah. Like, we used to, my mama worked midnight. She leave at six. We used to be like, shit, I'm outside at Hell seven. Hell yeah, you got the whole crew. Yeah, man, for sure. Used to be tearing up the neighborhood for no reason. Man. Now, um, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, you say that you was on, on bullshit, man. Anything that you could touch on, and you know what I'm saying? Just niggas want to hear shit, man. Your story, man. Like, or oh, you wanna keep that shit private? I know we can talk about whatever. Like you say you was you know, you did a little town locked up and stuff, man. Like what, what was you on, dog? What's the bullshit that that led to that shit, dog? That that was drug trafficking, trying to make some money. Mm hmm Doing some shit I ain't really had no business doing, but it was fun. Yeah. I ain't I ain't never gonna lie about it, but yeah. if I can avoid that whole I wouldn't actually I wouldn't even avoid it because it made me who I am today. Mm hmm So I was out trying to make some money. Moving too fucking fast, God sat my black ass down. Yeah. Like I needed to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for <laughs> so, sure, for sure. But yeah, I was <laughs> How long you sit down for? I was fighting the case. I was yeah. fighting two cases, so yeah. ten months altogether. Okay. God yeah. willing, I was I was facing like forty one years Damn. altogether. Man, I got out with probation, man. I'm so blessed, bro. I know you say like I'm I'm so I, would, I would not take this motherfucking shit for granted man. ever, boy. And then then I can say it now. My probation damn near done. I'm sitting in. I went for the drug trafficking shit. Yeah. Down in Ohio, the, you know they the signs. They like you automatically going to prison. <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> it's it's the day the day of sentence, and we walking into the courtroom. Me and my mama drive down there. Mm -hmm. Lawyer come out. He like you, you. Whatever happened, do not flip out. We gonna appeal whatever they do. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I'm going. To I was prison. Like, that's kind of scary, damn, cause you then, telling me bad news that's, already. That's, that's how he started. Then he say he like um, uh, whatever he do is gonna be based off what you say. Yeah, for sure. So. My little dumbass. I took like an acting class before I went to court. I'm walking. I'm like, shit, this is what every actor want. Yeah. That that heartfelt monologue. Sure. Like, I For bullshit sure. you not. This is this is the conversation I'm having with myself. My mama sitting there. She heard what he said. My mama sitting there hurt. Yeah, she think it's over for you. Think she about to drive back to Detroit by herself. Yeah. I'm walking. I'm like, every actor want this award winning monologue. Mm -hmm. This this my Oscar right here. For sure. Man, I win that bitch. My voice cracked. I damn near cried. <laughs> but I knew once once the once the Cause he ain't look at me the whole time. Mm -hmm. You remember Tupac did the shit. Mm -hmm. He stood up, man. Once that nigga put that pen down and looked at me, I said, "I'm going home." Oh yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going home. That nigga, sure. As soon as he did that, as soon as I got done talking, he said, "Man, I hate that they put these. Uh, they overcharge y'all." <laughs> he said that shit. He said we gonna drop your shit to this, drop it down again, and get you five years probation. Man, I damn near. My, like the the way my knees felt at that bitch, bro. I'm, <laughs> man, they, they let me walk out. Of, oh yeah, man. Duh. I got another shot. 
For Come sure. On, Don't waste that shit, man. You ain't been man. wasting it. Bro, uh, now, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never, you know, got in trouble, man. But how do it feel when you even, like, just think about the thought, like, sitting down for that long, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your, what's your thought process? Like, damn, this shit, I could have did this right. I could have did this. You know what I'm saying? To avoid having to face time and be away from your mom, your brother, your people. Like, what what were you thinking during that time? During the 10 months? Yeah. To be honest with you, bro, I wasn't thinking about none of that. Yeah. I, I got with some old heads. I, at first, I'm always the type... When I walk in the room, I'm quiet. Mm -hmm. I sit back in the corner and I peep shit. Mm -hmm. I peep like all the young niggas was in that bitch stressing. Mm -hmm. Them niggas like going through it. You hear the niggas screaming at night. Yeah. I peeped the old heads was just, I went and started kicking with the old heads. It was like, they told me like, bro, don't think about the shit. Get you a little routine. Mm -hmm. Stay prayed up. Stay in your Bible. For sure. Man, shit, you, you, that shit went <laughs> man, easy like, after that, huh? Man, like, I think it was easy, but it was like a little bit. No, no, it went easy after yeah, that. My, okay. my, my first, my first month. That's my first time ever being locked up. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm doing 21 hour lockdown. Yeah, I'm in that bitch going through it. Man, old head pulled me to the side on my little 30 minute outside. He said, "Man, work out, get a workout routine, mm -hmm. pick up like three books because you're gonna blow through them bitches, sure. and pick up the Bible." Yeah, man, that nigga told me that. About a week later, I was so calm. Mm -hmm. Then everything just flew by. I, I didn't think about nothing on the outside. All I worried about, I just prayed about my thing every day yeah. and just read. Yeah, man. And then the books, the books take you outside of jail. So I wasn't really locked up. Yeah. I'm, I'm a detective. I'm. Yeah, for sure. I'm yeah. doing all this every yeah. night. I'm so. And see, you just gave two examples of like having a, a nigga a OG giving you some game, bro, and how easier, easier shit is. And we were talking about that shit earlier, dog. I coach kids, and bro, how. How important it is to have somebody that's older and let them know what's going on, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If they take it, they take it. If they don't, they don't. Yeah. But it's always good to get some game out, especially if you know some shit that they don't know. That that shit can go a long way, bro. Boy, it, it work. It walk with me today. I still pick up. I don't pick up my Bible as much as I used to, but I still pick that bitch up. Yeah, I'm for sure. still that bitch. Still open Psalms 23. That bitch, and it changed to the Hebrews mm -hmm. 41. I can't remember the the other shit, but Hebrews 41. It, yeah. That bitch stay open. Man, hell yeah, for sure. For, now, go back to growing up, dog. You know, we talk about a lot of music on this podcast. Mm -hmm. What's some music that you was loving just based off your mom's, man, playing some shit at the crib, dog? You loving it just because of her? Not a damn thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, remember, remember Waterboy? Mm -hmm. That's the devil. That's my mama. <laughs> my mama was like, Duh. I came in the house one day, we put on some Eminem. My mama was like, wop, wop. Damn. Me and my brother like <laughs> See playing shit, huh? Don't turn this shit on. Like yeah. we, we didn't listen to shit but gospel for real. Yeah. Like the only time I listened to shit was when we moved out to the suburbs and my mama like let up on the sun. Mm -hmm. So fifty cent. Yeah. Get rich or die trying, but shit so, get rich or die trying. I'm hell yeah. What yeah. I'm twelve? <laughs> you got, <laughs> hell yeah. You know, for, that's classic fifty, you know? Hell yeah. yeah. So Now but, uh, you and you and Mitch your pops, man. You you have a relationship with him or you like how, how was that? No, but that's one of them relationships. I'm I'm working on forgiving mm -hmm. because he he did some shit. Yeah. So that's one of them relationships I'm working on forgiving. I don't know where he at either. So mm -hmm. I, I can I can find him. Yeah. But right now I'm not even thinking about that. I'm uh, you know that side of the family or like besides him, like you know that side? Uh only person on that side I know is my auntie Angie. Okay. And I ain't talked to her since. Yeah. So You gotta be curious because like my mom, um my dad he was around. He passed away when I was younger and shit, but my granddad came up to Detroit by himself. So I never knew, like, my dad's side of family, so I was always curious about, like, cousins and shit like that. You never was curious, like, dog, like, <clears throat> who my, who my, who my, you know what I'm saying, other side of my family is? Um, no, because, like I said, my Aunt Angie had two kids. I knew them. Okay. But, like, we hung out a little bit, mm -hmm. and then when... I, my mama really cut ties with them. At that time, I was too young. Damn, I ain't yeah. had no phone. I, I ain't had no way of getting in touch sure, with them, so... Sure. No, not really. Yeah. But I do got a big family. Yeah. And I know um we we as a cousins trying to set up like something for everybody to come together. But no, the older sure. people, they they yeah. petty. They yeah. 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 Deep down. The, the kids, we the ones like we need to get back together. I miss being a kid. Yeah, we did all this. Not sure. the older ones like I ain't trying to see that motherfucker. Hell yeah, that's like, how it be. That's how it be, <laughs> dog. For sure. Now the last thing I asked you about your pops, do you ever look at that like, damn, if he was here, this would be different. If he was here, that'd be different. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of times we look at other people with their dads like, damn. I we can't wait to get older and drink with my pops and shit. Talk about hoes with my pops, like you know what I'm saying. So Definitely. You ever feel like nigga, you ever think about your life and how it could have, you know be a little different with him around? Yes, because you know you know men are a different type of strict with boys. Mm -hmm. My mama put me in football as a kid. I quit, went back, quit, went back. As a daddy, you gonna be like nigga, what the fuck? Sit the fuck. You gonna yeah, play? You gonna yeah, play? Yeah, Ain't yeah, no quit. Sure, so I I do look at that. I'll be like, 
a lot of shit would have, I would have been somewhere completely different mm -hmm. had he stayed there and really rolled me like, bro, as a man, cause I'm, I'm about to have this talk with my niece cause she just did this. Mm -hmm. But, um, they, he, I, I figure he would have told me like, you know, some days you're not gonna want to do the shit, sure, but you is. gotta do it. Yeah. So, cause when you quit, nigga, that's, I tell my son that, he, you know what I'm saying? You can't be, dog, you gotta fulfill your shit though. You can't be just quitting cause then that shit is gonna go throughout your whole life, yeah. bro. You're gonna get comfortable. So when you get frustrated, oh, I quit, I quit. Like, yeah. no, nigga, you're gonna do this shit, bro. Yeah. And I, I'm not saying, my niece didn't quit nothing, but she, t my niece told me the other day, she was like, um, I wanna be an Olympic gymnast. Mm -hmm. I'm like, cool. Hell yeah, dope. Hell yeah. But yesterday, she didn't go to gymnastics practice. What you doing? So how the fuck you want to be? Yeah, yeah. You want some bullshit. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm about to pull up on her and chop it up. Like, you, you, yay. Yeah. Yeah, this ain't what we doing. No, but and she needs you to do that shit, dog. Because, yeah. like I said, I don't know what the crib, but, like, nobody can't be letting her quit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You so. need that person to be like, hey, man, hey, you going to do this shit? Do it. <laughs> so you at the crib, that shit ain't going to, nigga, you TikTok this shit. Like, yeah. that shit ain't going to take you to the next level, bro. Come on. I but mean, that, you, these you, young motherfuckers don't like putting in that work, though. Don't, I, man. See, grown niggas don't like putting in that work. I, I was about to say, <laughs> a lot of people don't. For sure. But some, sometimes, some days I don't. But yeah. I still give it at least an hour. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Cause somebody else is. Come on. You do. You said the shit that you doing right now. Everybody want to be getting yeah, to that you, shit. And you and you can't say you want to be that that one at that top spot mm -hmm. and taking days off for real. Yeah. You see me? I'm trying to be third number two. Man. I'm on your heels, bro. I'm on your, I'm on your heels, bro. Right season three. I'm, I'm gonna put that plug in. Hey man, I need it. Though. I just want to say. <laughs> hey, only thing I want to say. My line could be. Hey man, put that shit down. <laughs> say less. Say less. Even if they don't write it in, I'm like, hey, say that. Hell yeah, for sure, for sure. Somebody bro. gonna be like, shit, he been saying this, so we gotta get it. Hell yeah. Let's hey, hey man, I told everybody on this bitch, dog. First nigga do that shit, man. I'm gonna take y'all this forever, dog. No, I, I just told a nigga to do that shit in family ties. Mm hmm He was he said this shit the whole time. They was like, they was like, he been saying that? We like, y'all. They're like, shit, we gotta get the shot. Now nah, I'm like, that's how you get it. Get your plug in, bro. For sure, for sure, get man. Get your plug. But don't do nothing, don't do no ridiculous shit. Don't be in that bitch like, God damn it, you mother <laughs> Hey, wait a minute, bro. Like, get your little plug in, get your get your face shot. That but, thing went hell, boy. <laughs> hey, cuz man, that shit be scary. Like, I be getting DMs, people be like, and you can tell they they the type to do that shit. They be like, bro, I just I wanna be a gangster, I wanna be that nigga like you. Them the type of niggas that's going to take that bitch overboard. <laughs> they supposed to just be there in the back of the hole with the gun. They're like, no, man, let me bust her. Hell like, yeah. If no. you them niggas fucking up the shooting day, you be like, bro. No. <laughs> he ain't coming back. If he do, they going to kill him off. Hell yeah. So, <laughs> ASAP, dog. God yeah, damn, yeah. I, I tell niggas all the time, like, if you... If it's not a word for you to get in, mm -hmm. just start shooting that bitch in. Mm -hmm. Just say something. Because then the writers, like, especially with Mula and them, mm -hmm. they, they'll be like... That shit do go. Yeah, that shit and, was good. And they had changed some shit. Be like, well, shit. Let's not have him say that. Let him say that shit since yeah. he's standing there. For sure. So, yeah. Niggas duh. get plugged in like that all the time. And then, like I said, nowadays, niggas, I think with the Detroit shit, music and acting, blowing up everybody, seeing seeing us and shit, I think some niggas just want to do it just because it's the popular thing right now. And that's, that's, and that's they shit. And they ain't really got the heart. Like, they ain't really got the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? They, the, 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 what word I'm looking for? They ain't really. They don't really want to do it for real. Yeah. They ain't really serious about it. They just doing it because they see they man's doing it. And they, they see Chris doing that shit. I can do it. And they see they see like the attention and the little buzz that come mm -hmm. with it. So everybody be like, a lot of people be like, <clears throat> I want to do it. I'm gonna I'm be the biggest. Be like, bro. First off, my nigga, yeah. you gotta study. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like if you if you think you about to just pick up a script and outwork. The niggas that's been working for, for a minute too, man. You ain't even gonna get on the screen with me, buddy. Hell yeah, so. for sure, man. Put that work in. Like I said, with this music, with this, with this acting shit, man. Just with life in general. Uh, shout dog. out to our music scene, them boys. Man, popping off. Them boys, God. Popping damn. off. Give me a rap name, man. I know you was a rapper back in the day. Big C. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody was a rapper back in the day, bro. You tried it, dog. Hey, look. <laughs> You see the face I'm in? I'm like, damn, he caught me. <laughs> Big C. Big C this motherfucker, Big C, dog. How long yeah. that shit lasted, dog, until you, you realize, like, or shit, sure. something that you, you know what I'm saying? Big C might come out with an EP and shit. Uh, it lasted for a little minute, but I it, it, that was one of them things. Mm -hmm. I quit. Mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I don't, I don't even know where to go. Yeah, for sure. Like type, and my mama didn't even like the type of music, so yeah. it was like, man. But I, I do, I was, I'm I'm good at storytelling like that. For sure. So, you ever think about it now, like, Get in that bed? Nope. Cause yeah. when I, when they when they brought it to me, I was doing dumb shit, and they was like, "Bro, you you really do this shit? You can rap about it." I'm like, "Yeah, that's self indictment. I'm a chill." <laughs> yeah, for sure. Especially now, the feds come knocking man. like, oh, yeah. "You said what now?" Yeah. You see, T man, last project he put out is he let y'all know it's a storytelling. Yeah. And shit ain't that bad. Like, oh, no, dope. That's, 
That's fire. That that is motivation for real. Yeah. Cause that me, I love that aspect where I can literally put that shit on, sit back, and I can see. It. Visualize everything. Man. That, and then that that the music helps me create a different character for you to see when mm -hmm. I get another project. For sure. Cause for every, sure, man. every street nigga ain't the same. So it's like yeah. Especially that Jay Antoine. Yeah. Jay Antoine, one, two, and three. Hell man, yeah. That shit, boy. Hell yeah. Because I think him and um, what, Vaughn, them niggas, tell, they pay some pictures. When they be telling this shit, you could, like, you see this shit as a story. Yeah, and that's, you know what, what I'm saying? that's why I really like King Vaughn. Side note, uh, Tukey, for Tukey, for McGraw, mm -hmm. I studied King Vaughn. Okay. I, I tried to study the way he walked. I couldn't talk like him because he's from mm -hmm. Chicago. For sure, for sure. But for I, sure. I tried studying the hell out that boy. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah that shit, man. I'm telling you that. And like I said, some people could just rap and just paying pictures like back at, like Pop, nigga. I remember listening to his music. Like, nigga, you could just you could just see the shit that he talking about, though. And like, that shit is beautiful. Clear that as fuck that is art. Yeah. That is art. Just so stay on that, man. Who's your first favorite rapper? Like, the real first favorite rapper? 50. 50? Mm hmm. You said Gibbers Dark Trump? Yep. Man. 50. Then. Then like um, <clears throat> Jay Z, mm -hmm. we used to sit up, you know, you know, back in the day, we used to sit up. My auntie lived on Mac and uh, Dickerson. We used to sit upstairs in the window. Yeah, we used to sit upstairs in the window. The Mac. drug dealers would drive by. Me and my cousins, Jay Z playing. Yeah. Bingo, that's yeah. me. That's my whip. Sure, <laughs> Bingo, no sure. snatches. Yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. So, yeah, classic. Then, come on, then we used to be running around outside. Niggas banging Jay Z. So it was Fifty then J. Mm -hmm. And then like growing up. You know, I never had a daddy. Mm -hmm. So I looked up to 50, Jay-Z, and Kobe. Mm -hmm. Niggas from the streets, that transition. Mm -hmm. Kobe with the work ethic. Hell yeah, for sure. Them was my father sure. figures for real. So I, yeah. I watch interviews, highlights, listen to music. I'm, yeah. I'm there. Kobe, that nigga, dog. Yes. I hate that he don't... I think he don't get talked about as one of the greatest ever just because he kind of like was a clone of Michael Jordan. Yeah, but... Because to me, he my number two. You you can't deny that eighty one, bro. Man, hell no. You can't... Shit, yeah, I'm you can't game against Dallas. He scored 63 and sold the whole fourth quarter. Come on. Nigga man. had them at 100. Nigga 90. Nigga, like, Kobe was that nigga, dog. Come on, man. Like, that, I was hurt when my mom got me that Shaq jersey instead of Kobe. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, as hell. Man. Like, mom, come on, dog. Thank you, but oh, come man. on. I don't want no people, motherfucking center. <laughs> people got to stop playing with my man's top. Stop yeah. playing with Kobe, boy. Man, man. For Co real. Kobe was that nigga, dog. And, like, I, I fuck with Bron. I'm not no one of them niggas who hate that he ain't shit, but Bron, like, that's him. He number three. It's Mike, Kobe, then yeah. Bron, dog. Yeah. But Kobe was that nigga, man. Rest in peace. I found yeah. out he passed away. Right after I did a show, dog. That happened right before my birthday. Damn. Right before my birthday. That shit was... Shit, well, stay on that, man, because I cried, man. Give me the last time... When the last time you cried, dog? You two thuggies just say that shit. I just cried the other week. Oh, shit, man. What happened? Paint the picture, uh, man. My homegirl, mm -hmm. she she got like a... Uh, psycho she's she's still in school. Okay. Taking some psychology classes, so she like a therapist for me. Mm -hmm. she, the way... Was like... You know, as men, we never really get to be open. No, no, no. And, it, and it's never really reciprocated. Like, I remember I was talking to her, and I was passed. I'm yelling. Yeah. Then I stopped. I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be yelling. And she's like, no. Yeah. Nigga, yeah. that's you venting. For Do sure. your thing. For sure. After that conversation, bro, I, I dropped a tear. Yeah. I, ain't, I ain't like full out cry. I for sure dropped a tear. I felt that shit here. I'm like, yeah. damn, bro. Yeah. This shit feel good. Hell yeah, dog. For so, real. You had shit built in. You be, you Man. know what I'm saying, too manly. Like, no, I can't, I can't then, show emotions not, and shit. Not even too manly. It's certain, certain females, when you start doing that, mm -hmm. they get combative. They don't even let you know you got a safe space. Mm -hmm. So it'd be a whole nother argument on top of you just trying to express yourself. Yeah. She let me know that this shit was safe. She like, bro, you good. Yeah, for sure. No judgment, Man. I, <laughs> on the phone with her, I got quiet for a minute. I dropped a little tear. Man. She's like, what you doing? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> a little, little left eye, I got a little one. I ain't doing nothing. I'm chilling. What you doing? Man, dog. Because yeah, like dog. I said, you cry in front of somebody, though, and then, you know what I'm saying, she was good enough to let you know. I was talking about it. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's shit, man. Like, I ain't never had anybody cry on the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, man, but... I know you in fake cry to keep a chick around. When I was younger, for sure. <laughs> for sure. When I was younger. Real but, nigga, though. But my, my nigga, uh... I ain't did that shit since high school. My nigga mama put his hip. She said, bro, you, you can get you could do a lot more and mm -hmm. get away with a lot more with a female if you're honest. Yeah, for sure. And she told us, like, have some platonic female friends. Yeah. They'll yeah. do a lot more for you than your niggas will. <sighs> nigga, that's, I already know. That's some of the best advice I ever got. Shout yeah. out to Robin. <laughs> <laughs> no. Robin. Hell yeah. My, that's my homeboy mama. She put she put she put down some jewels. Man. Bro. And see right now, right, I'm glad you saying all this shit, dog, because niggas be needing to hear that shit, bro. You need oh, yeah. people you, in your corner, bro. You can't bro. fuck every female that come into your life, bro. Oh no, no, no. Stop. You know, yo, that nigga used to tell me some shit though. What you say, nigga? Trying to get some more put uh, <laughs> Trying to get some more pussy and end up with no, no pussy. No pussy, yeah, man. Bro, uh, and then growing up, you you think like, nigga, I got to hear everybody, everybody, everybody. When you get older, bro, some some relationships are just 
meant to be relationships, yeah, like yeah. friendships like, and shit. Bro. I'm I'm so grateful that me and my sister never crossed that line, bro. Mm-hmm. So grateful, man, for sure. But now, like, that's one of ones. Like, she do more for me than. Yeah. You feel me? Hell if, yeah. I, if I'm going through something and I need a place to crash, she mm. there. Yeah. If I'm sure. going through something I need to vent, she there. Yeah. Like yeah. Then, so for that in return, I might not be able to do shit financially for her, but mm-hmm. I take the kids for you. Yeah, for sure. That's, about, yeah. that's my niece, that's my nephew. Oh, mm-hmm. you and you and your man's wanna go on a date, I got him. Bye. For sure. Hell Hell yeah. Yeah. I'll Hell put yeah. the kids in the bath, you feel me? Yeah. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. That's that's one of the best relationships I got, though. That's yeah. my sister. Yeah. Love that girl to death. Man, good nigga right there, man. man. Good nigga, dog. So ain't too many of them niggas around, man. <laughs> now, uh, dog, last question I'm going to ask you on some, before I get to your, when you got to acting, though. Mm-hmm. What's something you wanted to be as a youngin' that you never told nobody? Like, with me, for example, I want to be a tap dancer. An actor. I to, it, it yeah. always been that. Yeah, so <clears throat> I went to uh, a performing arts school when I was little. Okay. I did a stage play, but at the time... Stuff started happening at home. I didn't know how to get it out. Mm-hmm. So I started fighting and got kicked out. Mm-hmm. I, I've been kicked out of so many schools since then, bro. Yeah. So the acting shit fell to the back. We tried basketball, football. So then it started basketball. I wanted to be a basketball player. Yeah. How, how, how nice was your game? I'm good. I'm, yeah, for sure. Them, them knees not good, though. <laughs> but I'm good. I got a jump shot. Boy, I could. I used to be able to fly. Man, So, damn. And I, I, I was good. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> but like I said, the knees, then the high school I went to, them boy, I play center. I'm yeah. six. I'm six two, six three. I'm putting this on the block, block nigga. <laughs> yeah, I got some moves though. Yeah, and then that's where Kobe came in again. For sure, for sure. Studying all that, so, but acting. No, oh, so it's always been acting. Yeah, and it's and I, when I got my acting coach, shout out to Marilyn McCormick, Tony Award winning uh teacher. Mm-hmm. She she was like, God got a funny way of making everything work. Mm-hmm. So when it come like it's always been acting, but when it was like serious, like I'm I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the work in this shit for real and really be great at this shit. Cause you know you want to do something, but it's that point in your life when you like fuck it. I'm about to go full fledged with this shit. I'm going hard. My oh, baby. Um, when I when I came home. Okay. So like before before I got locked up when I was out in the streets, my homeboy Dave. Shout out to Dave, my barber. I, I gotta get the plug for my man. Hey man, check, hey check man, hey man, on, put man. the put a hat on, cause I ain't got no, <laughs> I ain't got no motherfucking hair, man. I be hating niggas like you, dog. <laughs> Real, real quick plug, shout out to my baby Dave. He about to start a uh, mobile barber shop. Dope, dope. So yeah, he, yeah, he gonna be putting baby. up on me on set. You feel me? Yeah, I bring my son to you. I can't do shit. Say love. <laughs> but um, Dave put me hip to plug love. Okay. A couple years before plug I got love. locked classic. up. Classic man. Yeah, yeah, classic and, movie. And I'm I, and I never been in any movie indie movies before that. Mm-hmm. I seen that. I'm like, wait a minute, what? That's the first indie movie I watched too. I'm like, bro, this bitch hard. Then then he hit me. He like, you know, they from here. Mm-hmm. Like what? Hell yeah! After that, Plug Love became one of the movies I watched damn near every night. Man, Plug Love was then, shit. Then, like, so Murder, Murder put that shit back in my head. Like, Murder been a, a, a thing for me. Mm-hmm. So that he put that shit back in my head. I'm like, cool. I, I fucked around through some mutual friends, bumped into Shamar, okay. money, and I told him immediately. I'm like, I want to get into acting. Mm-hmm. How? He put me hip to the class. Then I got locked up. Mm-hmm. Came home. Finally got back on my Instagram. I saw that. I'm like. Yeah, God got yeah. a funny way of making shit happen. For sure, man. I ain't I ain't had no money in my pocket. I I just got a job. Mm-hmm. First check was two seventy six. Yeah, class was four hundred dollars. Yeah. I caught two buses from the east side down to them. Paid them two hundred for my spot. Mm-hmm. Had seventy dollars. Damn, man. Took it two worked. buses back. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Blew through that. Got another three something. Take this two hundred. Man, but see that's dedication, bro. Man, that's man. dedication, dog. Man. That's the grind, bro. We, we go through these. We had these jobs, man. We hate these motherfucking jobs, and we got passion for something, but we not. You, you follow through with your shit, even if that was meaning spending your whole fucking check on that shit, man. dog, and catching that good. Damn, them good buses, dog. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, I'm, I'm never too good to hop on a bus, man. Bro, that shit used to hurt. Doc, man, it did. But that, that schedule, nigga? What? Bro. Man, you, you gotta, gotta get up extra early, <laughs> hey, walk, nigga. stand. That bitch be late. You out there again, like damn, God damn, bro. Hey, that's why I used to call it the bus and have phone number, bro. You call that bitch and get the time. Like, all right, nigga, one twenty six. Be that bitch at one twenty, nigga. Like, hey, bro. Now nah, they got a whole app for it now. I know that shit changed, nigga. I ain't call it bus in a minute, dog. But nigga, I remember that, you know, <laughs> like you had to have your shit set right, dog. Cause like Man. you said, don't care. You can miss the grassroot bus. The grassroot bus are gonna come mm-hmm. every fucking fifteen minutes. You miss that Mac bitch or that Calais Harper nigga? It's a wrap. You, you there? Go home, nigga. Right? <laughs> you chilling? Call off, nigga. You chilling? <laughs> Dog, the, the Calais Harper, the Mac, and the Jefferson is the slowest fucking bus ever. Dog, though. that motherfucking Grasher though, and that eight mile bus, them bitches run like clockwork. Dog. Yeah. yeah. Everything else though, 
You better be there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, so, I still to this day I be I be driving. I see you know you remember how the bus one bus would be mm-hmm. running a little late. The other one just pulling off. Yeah, you gotta yeah, catch that yeah, bitch. Yeah, if you don't catch it, you wait. Bro, I be seeing people running across eight miles. I be like, I good memories, days. Yeah, Please, yeah. I should have pulled in front of the bus and stopped that bitch. <laughs> yeah. I should have cut that bitch off. Make hey, sure nigga, you get but like I said, that smart bus was like a luxury bus. Man, you got that bitch, nigga. The heat work, the air work. <laughs> it's, cl- it's clean, nigga. <laughs> Going sitting down like, oh yeah, it I'm feels smooth when you but like you like you got a couple dollars in your pocket, nigga. That DOT nigga, nigga, nigga that bitch drunk, dog, stank, smell like dirty. piss. He be like, I stand. And then where time you get? That's when you want to make sure you get that back seat so you get that warmness from that fucking tire and that oh, engine yeah. and shit, nigga. Like, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, bitch, like me get the back. You know, be mad. Everybody be packed back there looking at you like, shit, I can't even squeeze in. Hell yeah, hey, I hate when whole ass niggas sit on the bus and they got that that, that seat that's available, but they won't move over. Oh, get up to let you sit down. Like, bro, yeah. you got this seat right here. Can I sit down, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Man. We can go the whole spill about the motherfucking bus, Dope. dog. But uh, get back to you acting, bro. So you say, you know, you spent your last couple dollars and shit, dog. Mm-hmm. What's, a, what's a movie, though, that, like, kind of, like, changed your life, nigga? Like, motivated you to want to do this shit? Like, it's always that movie. I know Thomas said, I think uh, Malcolm X was the movie for him. Mm. You, you just mentioned on the local scene, Plug Love, but what's a, a, a movie major that, you know what I'm saying, that really got, kind of like motivated you? First was Scarface. Okay. Then The Godfather. Okay. Then Training Day. Then Training Day? Yeah. Hell yeah. Those three, those yes. your three, huh? And they, in that order, Scarface, I became a big Al Pacino fan when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Scarface, that nigga killed that bitch. Then I, I seen him do Godfather, I'm like, yeah. God damn. Yeah, for sure. That shit different. Yeah, yeah. He even look different. I'm like, this ain't the same nigga. <laughs> this can't be the same nigga. <laughs> nigga, whole parents look different. Man. Then any given Sunday, bro. Nigga Willie Beeman, nigga. That's my <laughs> shit, dog. Willie Beeman. Beeman. I got the lady. <laughs> Steaming. Come oh, on, man. What's it with Steaming and Creamy? He said Creamy. Oh, nigga, I was damn. I didn't know you were saying that oh, shit. Yeah. Freaky ass nigga, yeah, dog. Go back and watch it. <laughs> that boy was talking. I thought he had the whole Steaming. <laughs> he, I think he say Steaming on one bar, but he said yeah. Creamy. Dog. Yeah, and that's when I say. I'm like, oh yeah, boy was on some shit. <laughs> well, well, yeah, Willie Beeman was when nigga was a third string. That mm-hmm. bitch, nigga, came man. out that bitch throwing up, nigga, throwing touchdowns to uh, mm, man. Bill Bellamy. That bitch. <laughs> Come on, bro. That was... LL Cool J was the running back and man. shit, nigga. That was my movie, bro. Yeah. But Train Day was a, that's a classic though. I can see why you say that shit on the, on the acting tip, like learning from Denzel, mm-hmm. him playing a whole different type of role that he played. You know what I'm saying? He a bad guy in this bitch, dog. Like. That's a classic ass movie, dog. Yeah. Snooping that bitch in the wheelchair. Man. <laughs> like, them, them the type of movies I love doing <clears throat> where everybody don't have an issue getting into character. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I would I would quickly turn down a movie if I peep somebody's not about to be they care they true character. Mm-hmm. If somebody just want to get on screen and be the tough guy, the cool guy, the the sex symbol, all that mm-hmm. shit, I'll walk away from the, the project so fast. For sure, man. I'll put that bitch down. <laughs> now, if you could sub in for a character in your favorite movie, what would who would it be? You subbing and you taking a spot, dog. I was about to say Chadwick, but he he a legend. Yeah. I was I for sure was gonna say uh, Black Panther. Yeah. But uh, right now something that's about to come out. Mm-hmm. Jonathan Majors and Creed. I would want to. I want to do. I want to do Creed so bad. Oh hell yeah! Man, hey, you got some hands. I, I box a little bit, but I start once they taught me to jab and across. Yeah. I went to school. Boop boop. Yeah. My mama said, "Yeah, you done. <laughs> <laughs> you done. <laughs> Nigga, learn some shit. Not somebody else." Listen, so. <laughs> listen, I I was already a bad kid. Yeah. You can't let nobody bully you. So I I used to. Man, hell yeah. You talking about chest out for sure. First nigga, your mama, boop boop. Yeah, your mama. Yeah, hell yeah. Right, they call, mama, they call him like, yeah, he gotta go. Man, so. <laughs> man, dog. How you prepare for a role, man? You get that script, man. You you kind of said that uh, Merlin kind of told you about you know how out study habits hour a day, then turn to an hour. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I first get a script, I read, I read it, mm-hmm. I read the whole thing three times mm-hmm. before I start scoring the script. Okay. So. I read it once just to see the whole story. Mm-hmm. I go back and be like, oh, this is my character. Mm-hmm. Read it like that. Mm-hmm. Then the third time is like, okay, I kind of know what my character wants. Yeah. Let me go ahead and really get into it. I read it three times. Yeah. Four through ten, mm-hmm. um, I, read the, I read the whole script just to see what people saying about my character. Mm-hmm. And I'll highlight, tab that, get a notebook. Okay, they say this, they say that. Number five, okay. How my character act towards this one person. I'll yeah. pinpoint one person and pick out all my scenes with this person. Yeah. Still read the whole script, but okay, this how that that's how their relationship is. Mm. Put that bitch, turn that whole page, just a whole page of that. Yeah. I do that for 
every character, especially if you give me enough time to do it, mm. man. Yeah. I read I read the script so about 20, 30 times. Yeah, man. Phone turned off. Focus. Uh, on do not disturb. Up under my covers. Up <laughs> yeah, under the mattress. Sure, no distractions. Man, I'm TV off, bro. Yeah. So when you, you so you you locked in, you ain't paying attention outside world. You you in there? Oh yeah, it's over. I'm one of them actors where like when I come on set. When, when it's time to shoot, mm. don't call me Chris. For sure, I'm I'm uh I'm Tuki. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. I'm Corey. I'm Mark, bro. Don't don't you, you say Chris? I'm yeah, they got yeah, who the fuck here. is that? They got... <laughs> I don't know what you talking about. For they, sure. And the girls, the 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 girls that do the crafty, they be like Chris. What you want to eat? Mm -hmm. Chris, <laughs> Chris, Tuki, huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. for sure. Hell so, no. I I man, is it certain, is it a certain role that you will refuse? Like just cause you know, you know, cause you know that, that kind of clown. It, it clown Will Smith, man. When he first got into it, he was in that uh, seven seven degrees of separation. That's when he played, you know, saying love okay. interest of a man. Yeah, that. So for me, that that's something I probably turned down mm -hmm. only because I can't explain it to my nephew. Okay. So me, I'm one of them ones. Where like if you can't if you can't make it simple and explain it to the kids, mm -hmm. you don't need to be doing it. Mm -hmm. So like I can't I can't look at my nephew and be like. Well, shit, they paid me good. Yeah, for sure. Because then I'm telling him it's cool to to sell your soul for some exactly. money. Yeah, so yeah, I'd be yeah. like, yeah, you can't do it. Nah, and that, that one of them roles just came across the desk for me. Mm -hmm. They asked me, I'm like, yeah, man. <laughs> they, yeah. They, they was like, but you won't you won't physically do nothing, yeah, gay. Yeah. But I'm like, it's still the simple. Fact. It's still yeah that you yeah so, that I'm, and, I'm there. Dog. Yeah, and then my nephew right now he too young to. To know any of it, yeah. but he gonna get older for sure. But hey, um, Uncle Chris, that's yeah. explaining though. It's, it's gonna come across. Then, yeah. then it's, it's shit. They paid me. Yeah, like, like then, so basically, you tell him, nigga, shit, the money right, do whatever. Yeah, yeah and I'll you. on top of that, I got a lot of young, young, young black boys following me for sure, and they they active on my page. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm not gonna take nothing on tour. I can't explain to them either. Yeah, no, facts. so facts, it, facts. It's, like I said, if, if you is about that, you can do that shit. Then shit, hey, that's good for you. You yeah, tap into but, that shit, man. But no. Nah. Like, I can't, I can't even take that shit serious. Like, hug Craig. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> then I, give Craig a massage. Yeah. Like, no. Then I had, a, I had an acting coach. He told me, he like, uh, if you tell the truth, you never got to act a day in your life. What's up? I ain't got no truth in that. Yeah, no, nah, fat. So, fat. For, for the people that do that, that's all you. More power to you. Yeah, yeah, But yeah, for salute. me, I'm going I'm to leave that role for you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, you want to be a star? I got a role for you. Mm -hmm. I right, Call me, DM me. I got a role for you. Yeah, <laughs> man. What's, uh, what, what movie so far you would, you would say that really showed your skills, man? I ain't, I ain't even seen Cheddar Boys, so I'm gonna say. Um, I, I was gonna ask that too. Do you watch your? Do you even go back and really like watch your movies? Like some people don't watch their own stuff or like watch their interviews, their podcasts. I get forced to. Yeah. So my like I said, my support system, every, my my barber. Every time I go in, that, go there to get my haircut, mm -hmm. then get, I walk in, I'm on the screen, I'd be like, God damn. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be like that at first. Now I'd be like, okay, cool. Yeah. I pulled up one day. It's them, some girls, everybody chilling. They was watching something completely different. I yeah. walk in the house. I said, cut that shit off. Yeah. Turn me on. I'm like, damn. Bro. <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah, dog. So you ain't got that movie that really like you felt like really showed your 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 range. Yes, I feel like from from the different roles you can see my range, mm -hmm. but I haven't been able to see it yet. Like oh. the Cheddar Boys premiere, something happened. I didn't get to see the whole movie, mm -hmm. but I heard I did good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what matters to me. What the people uh, think of it, mm -hmm. but um. From from Cheddar Boys to the Serial Cheater, my mm -hmm. second lead, it's a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I think I got to be a little more free in that. But Tuki, Tuki, the amount of work I put in, and um, just the truth I brought to Tuki, mm -hmm. I think that's gonna be one that's gonna show a lot of range. Yeah. Shout out to my homegirl Marissa um, Onice. She was a Cheddar Boy. She got shot and shit, man. <laughs> She, was, she got shot in the, uh, I think she was parking lot, a little parking lot pimping and shit. <laughs> uh, I, told, I always laugh at how she was dead, that bitch with blood. Like, duh, she was funny, uh, dog. Shout out to her, yeah, man. Y'all had like an all star cast in that bitch, dog. Oh, man. Then, dog, shout out to Payroll. Payroll, one of my favorite rappers. Oh, shit. To me, he's the coldest man. nigga in the city. Man. So, Payroll, Payroll was supposed to be the lead in that movie. Okay. When, when I came in to do the read, me and him switched characters. Mm -hmm. After I left, he told Rook and him, he's like, no, give it to Dog. Dog got it. Yeah. So to, to for one of your favorite rappers to be like, yeah. take my role, give it to him. Yeah, that's what and I mean. Really, really give me that spotlight to to show something. <clears throat> yeah. Because the buzz I got off doing the Cheddar Boys was ridiculous. For sure. Hell yeah. Hell ridiculous. yeah. Ridiculous. So that shit, man. Man, that's dope, dog. Give me your dream movie role, your your dream role, 
And who will be your leading lady, bro? My dream role. Yeah, and that leading lady. Who 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 playing that uh that love interest, dog, for Chris, man? I want to do a movie like some medical field shit. Mm-hmm. And um, my leading lady, Coco Jones. Okay. Oh shit. She. You don't know about Coco Jones, boy. Come on, man. Little chocolate and shit, that bitch, dog. <laughs> Everybody like chocolate. Ain't no man, what? Chocolate. Man, but, I, I had one light skinned little girl, man. Dark skinned chicks, though, ain't some different. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, nice, I, little, nice little dark skinned chick, man. I, hey, I ain't racist towards nobody. Yeah, I, I don't discriminate. I love all I black love women, but, but as far as like her Coco being Jones, my leading lady, nice. Coco she Jones. Nice. Coco Jones. She's nice. I hope my wife don't watch this. She's nice, though. You know, you know it. We watched it together. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I might get cussed out, but you know. Hell yeah, dog. Now, McGraw F, season two, man, just came out, man. Y'all had the premiere and stuff, and I'm still waiting for it. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. No, you ask me to come out. No, no, no. <laughs> no, time is coming. When, when he come, he come. I'm waiting. I'm just waiting. Yeah. But, though, how did it feel? I know you going to have a major role in this, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, after season one was a success, man. Like, how did you feel knowing that you're going to be a part of this? Brent, man, I feel. I feel like I belonged. That's that's something I manifested. Mm -hmm. That role, certain scenes, just being one on one with murder. I manifested that whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So like, knowing that, when once I got the role, once they told me like, okay, this is you, mm -hmm. and then they was telling me like who he about to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I man. Yeah. It it felt like, like you know the feeling you get when you get something new, mm -hmm. and you excited about it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have that feeling. Yeah. I had a familiar feeling like. This is what you you supposed to be here, mm -hmm. type shit. So it was to know that man up. Oh. Man, dope as hell. Some people still mad at me because they feel like I ain't celebrate that good enough. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I got some celebrating to do. No, I was gonna ask you about this shit when it come out and shit, dog. Dog, I already know oh, niggas. Them, them you that shit everywhere you go. And when, <laughs> and when that shit come, niggas, it's just because I had Thomas on the show. Niggas asking me, hit me like, dog, when that shit coming out, yeah. I'm like, bro, I don't know, it's the premiere. Yeah. Like, nigga, you got way see fool. Yeah, like the followers I'm getting right now. They scroll on my page. Once they like that, I get a DM after that. Dog, wait, what's up with that shit, cuz? Where is it at? Man, <laughs> like, man. Shit. Dog I'm asking real, the same question. <laughs> dog was really looking real grimy. That bitch had the hair fro out and shit in that bitch, oh, dog. Oh, yeah. We, we wanted to uh, get a real t tough look, mm -hmm. rough look. Shout out to my homie, Carla. Yeah. The Carla Strong. She the, she's she's a goat. Yeah, for sure. But for she, sure. she called me. She was like, um, what do you think about trying this? I'm like, so I'm doing whatever for the role. Yeah, fuck it. I got I, it. I'll go bored if I got you yeah, for a role. Yeah, yeah. I, I just cut this off for something, but I'm, I'm doing whatever for a role. For sure. So Hell she yeah. like, start doing this, and then come in, and we're going to see how we like to look. Okay. I came in. They was like, yeah. That's you, yeah. That's, that's Tukey right there. Yeah, nigga thug out and, here. <laughs> and, that, and that shit hit once. I didn't, I didn't know at the premiere they was going to show the second episode. Mm -hmm. So once he hit the screen... People next to me like, oh, that's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then once we left, everybody like, bro, that shit was you was so like genuine in that role. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You the type of nigga that celebrate get too happy about shit, dog. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> like that's I you. Really like, yeah, me cool. yeah. So I'd be like, <laughs> oh I'm, shit, that's great, damn, there, there. That shit, dog. I'm I'm starting to uh, get into that whole celebrating thing, but me, I'm the type like. When we finished season two, mm -hmm. I was immediately like, where the script after season three? Sure. Let's, get yeah, yeah. Let's get to work. Let's, Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Because the people want it. Yeah, for and sure, then, man. Once, once I finish a role, my my celebrating is hanging out with my niece. Yeah, Because she sure. love me. Yeah, so yeah. So when I'm finished with everything, I say what up, peace yeah. to everybody. I call my sister. I'm coming to take I'm coming to take uh my, my niece, Vey, out. I'm coming to take her out. Me and her about to go downtown and ride scooters. We about to go to the park. We about to go get McDonald's. We... About to spend a whole day together. Hell yeah. That's you, my celebration. You see yourself having kids in the in the future though? Or you wanna Hell yeah. focus on you focus on movies right now, then that shit come later? I ain't yeah. gonna say that shit to kids like <laughs> <laughs> the kids come uh, later or Oh, uh, I definitely want kids, man. Yeah. I think that'll be a blessing to be able to be a father. No, for sure it is, dog. So, it is, man. I got three of them three of them ones. I got what, two boys and a, and a little baby girl. She the last one, man. So yeah. it's like, all right, bet. It's cool because if God forbid anything happen to me, she got two older brothers to protect her. Right. So it's cool, though. Like I said, hey, if, if any boys come up, hey, come get the, yeah. come get these little niggas off her, so, cause that, that kids are definitely mm -hmm. in my future. For sure. I just gotta find the right woman. I might, I might have her. Yeah. But um. I said, shout out to you. Yeah, shout out to you. <laughs> but um, but as of right now. My niece and my nephew. Yeah, They're my for sure. kids. You know, they for say sure. it take a village. Yeah, so, man. 
Now, I'm quick to go over there. November 5th, man. A very oh, merry yeah. hood Christmas, man. Oh, yeah. And they had the same outfit we had on for Christmas last year. Got a little Christmas outfit right on and shit, man. Listen. But talk, talk, talk to me about that, man. Talk, talk to me about that. It's a Christmas movie. Detroit ain't never really had... Ain't never. Ain't no really never yeah. had a Christmas movie to celebrate Christmas and stuff. It's like it's going to be a comical way. Talk to me about that shit, man. I think... Before I get into it, I think that's going to be one of my favorite roles. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's painting black men in a positive light. For sure. We, we get that. all this shit where we thugs, killers. Every nigga ain't that. Yeah, so no, facts. That, for, just for that aspect, that's probably going to be like my favorite role. Mm -hmm. But boy, oh boy, y'all niggas going to be laughing. Y'all no, ass it look off. funny as hell, bro. Yeah. I want to go to the premiere, dog. Listen, it looked funny. Filming was funny. Yeah, for but, sure. Bro, we, I don't know how we finished it. Yeah, how different was that though? Going from other movies, one more flip, McGraw Ave, but then doing this movie and being on set having a good time. Like, what was it? How was it? How was that different though? Like, was it better for you? Like, you enjoyed that a little bit more? I was, I, I did enjoy it a little bit more because after I, I do my process of getting in the character, mm -hmm. when you come around these people, especially for that type of role, that type of character who's a family person, mm -hmm. you can, I can really open up on set for sure. For and sure. everybody else, the talent was fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Just being able to work with everybody and. Everybody bring their own specific energy, yeah. and it all mesh and it work. Yeah, that's dope, man. Uh, like, like just looking at the shit. Like, I can tell it's gonna be some old funny shit, bro. Can't dope. wait to see that shit, man. Get high and come to the premiere. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm for sure. Like, between interviews and watching it, I'm gonna I'm pop an Eddie somewhere in between there, <laughs> bro. Y'all, this is you might pee on yourself. Make sure you pee before you come sit down. Dog. Yeah, I can, I can, I can get the edible. Dog. I'll be in that bitch. I'll be in that bitch, dog. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. So, the, the unique thing about working with Jay Will, mm -hmm. this nigga's never stick to the script. Yeah, yeah, for sure, I can bet. But he funny as shit. Mm -hmm. Everything he say hit, it hits and it go with the story. He he might not know the words, yeah, but, but he he be like, okay, let's run through it. I I, I know what to do. Yeah. As soon as he say that, bro. It's, it's the hardest thing sitting across from Jay Will, especially on your take. Yeah. Having to keep a straight face and be duh, serious. I know y'all had to do take at the take with him, dog. Man. Man, dog. Give me a Christmas memory, dog, of yours that you just remember playing this day, bro. Finding Christmas presents in the basement. Oh, see, you ain't no, ain't no Ain't no Santa Claus, mama. Why you lying to me? <laughs> Would you hurt? Yeah. Hell no, we started opening stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we was, we was <laughs> bro. I don't know who found it first, me or my brother. But it was in the basement in the back room. Yeah. I don't know how the nigga found it. Or I don't know who found it, like I said. But yeah. the other one went and got the other one. Man. My mama came home from work. Toys was... Bikes was all in the basement. Bro, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Man. Bro, because I remember my mama had... I, I, I try to pitch little pieces of paper to see if I can see what it is, though. But I never went crazy and opened that bitch I, up completely, though. Boy, we was down. We was in the basement riding circles on bikes. Man. Man. Or, I used to hate getting bikes on Christmas, though. I didn't. We never ride them bitches outside. No, <laughs> nigga. Like. Yeah, true. But like I said, we was in the basement with it. Then when the, once the spring, summer hit, we was outside. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's a Christmas memory. Because my mama came home and uh, she said something to us. I don't remember what she said. This was so long ago. Mm -hmm. But she said something to us. Me and my brother was just looking at each other like, shit. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I ain't gonna say you did it. I ain't telling on you. You don't tell on me. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, we yeah, don't bro. know who, who fought it, but we both was playing. So. Man, for sure. Now, you said you want to tap into your uh, directing bag, man. You want to write some shit, dog. Yeah. Like, what's the, like, how you want to want film, series? Like, what you want? how you want to break out with your with your debut, man? Start off with a film. Okay. Start off with a film. Uh, Listen, I, I see how Moolah and them do these series. Series is stressful. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Images is stressful. So, I'll be like... Let me let me just get my uh first project out the way, mm -hmm. but once you once I tap into that bag, like I got like ideas for like three more movies. Mm -hmm. So once you tap into that that bag and that understanding, and you be on set so much, you know how to do it. It's like I know I can do it. Yeah. But definitely I, a movie. I saw you want to get into that. Like you want to make sure you just like conquer it and get better and better uh, just acting before you get into that, or you want to do that shit like immediately. I definitely want to do that, but so my project, I'm not I'm not gonna lead in it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be in it, but yeah. I'm not gonna be the lead. Okay. So, it's it's coming. I I was talk. I've been talking to some people. We most likely gonna start next year, depending yeah. on what I got going. Yeah. Cause they called me from a grow. Everything getting dropped. For sure. I don't, <laughs> listen, I'm telling y'all right now on my mama. Yeah. If y'all 
give me a movie and be like, we shooting at this time. If Moolah call and say, yo, get ready <laughs> for Tuki at this time, I'm calling you like, bro, it's over. Yeah. If you want me, wait for me. If not, I got Fuck a nigga you. that'll take the role. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm dropping everything for my girl. Yeah, my yeah. mama. Hell yeah, man. Shout yeah. out to Moolah, though, man. Yeah, yeah, but... Hell yeah. Now, before we get to the end of this shit, man, we start asking my last questions, dog. Mm-hmm. You said you know you got that model in your in your, in your bio oh, and shit, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Talk, to, talk to me how that shit get get to it. Was it was a girl like you should model, Chris? Basically, <laughs> so when I when I again when I first came home from jail, yeah. I finally got into my Instagram. I'm sitting back. One of the girls I've been I've been I don't know how long I've been following her, mm-hmm. but I seen she posted something talking about pop out little model event. Yeah, I went dolo. I'm like shit. Let me throw on a little mm-hmm. little yeah. Went down there. I ain't know nobody. I'm sitting there. Mm-hmm. One of the girls approached me. Me and her got to talking, and um, she was like, "You model?" I'm like, "No." She's like, "You need to be a model." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Okay, how I start?" She walked me, introduced me to um, Cisco. Shout out to uh, Lush, Lush lingerie, y'all whole show. Shout out to y'all. Okay. But um, she introduced me to Dog. That was my first fashion show, walking in underwear. Yeah. <laughs> and it, who, who you bag after that? Who didn't? I bag after that? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Listen. Then I got I got a little personality on me, so. The girls taught me about this little half term. <laughs> so I'm in the underwear. Shout out to my girl. Like, oh, so when you doing this shit, you walking on this. This your first time ever doing anything. First like this. time. You just coming that bitch. They all imagine put you in the show. Draws. <laughs> so, so shout out to my girl Lexan. <laughs> bro, I, listen, bro. I bullshit you not. Lexan, she hit me. She like, uh, you look good, but do put some, put some sparkles on. Yeah. I'm like sparkles. Yeah. Like glitter. She like, yeah. So for the first show, I'm in underwear. <laughs> when it's my final walk, she come she come back there, she rubbed me down with the glitter everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as I bend the corner, it's ladies. <laughs> I'm like I look, I look back, I say <laughs> And walk. I get in front of the ladies. Like I said, I don't discriminate. It was a big girl. Yeah. It was it was some some petite girls and some big girls. For sure. I did the half turn in front of the petite girls. Walked, stopped in front of the big girl, winked, looked at her, licked my lips, turned, I said, yeah, and kept on, man. Duh. For the first show, after that, my confidence been through the roof since then. Duh, I think when that bitch said, oh, Maggie got the drawers and the glitter on his ass. Come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. And it, and that was like, at the time, I couldn't find no Calvin Klein's. I wish I could have. Yeah. But uh, that was like, damn, there's some silky boxer briefs. Yeah. I had on, all I had on, all I had on was boots. Yeah. And that, I'm... So they come in and be like, yeah, a stripper in that, man. <laughs> Real shit, man. Them girls, the way they responded, I said, yeah. That's funny as hell. I like this. Watching that bitch at all, Maggie. Like, nigga, is that like... Is it hard to be serious when you're doing those type of things? Like, when you walking down the runway and shit, bro? Like, like I can just imagine me being silly as fuck laughing and shit, bro. Like, <laughs> it, it is hard because I don't... I didn't... This is why I stopped doing runway shows for real because I didn't take it as serious as my friends did. Okay. Like, them motherfuckers, they... They probably practice walking right now. Yeah. We used to, every time I hung out with them, it was a practice walk. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I realized I didn't take it as serious as they did. So, mm-hmm. for certain shows, I always go out there with my personality. Mm-hmm. I'm, I know, I know I'm handsome. So, if I, if I hear a girl make a noise while yeah. I'm out there, I'm looking in that direction, winking, waving, right. lip licking. I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, cool I'm, yeah I'm, I'm letting you know. Yeah. Funny so, <laughs> But. Man, dog, <laughs> nigga saying, hey, I'm in that bitch off the rip, nigga, went down that bitch, nigga. You didn't catch the bus to that one, did you? No. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, if he no. did, they got robbed by one of the big girls. Like, I tell you. <laughs> no. But, uh, but, yeah, they, uh, that shit. That shit. That then, sh- girl, girls are your best friends, like, for that show. For you know, them. niggas don't like cutting their body here for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for yeah. that show, the girls, they was like, you got to come shave. Yeah. Cut everything off. Yeah. I'm like, what? And it's like, yeah. And we 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 make sure you got your little oil on it, but everybody gonna love you. Make yeah. sure you do that. I so they, they oil you up? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't get that shit. They oil me up. I'm gonna have this break mode, you know? <laughs> no, <laughs> for the no. Show for but it's it, it it's always a professional thing. No, so I feel you. I feel they, that bullshit. They'd tell me. Like they'd be like, You comfortable with me coming here? I'd be yeah. like, yeah. yeah. Or if if I don't want them touching too high on my thigh, mm-hmm. which I let them. Yeah. But but they but they ask me, they'd be like, you comfortable with this? Yeah, because so. nowadays niggas they be like, hey man, you know shit, the way things going now, everybody, hey, man. back in two thousand and two, man, such such touch me, like you know what I mean? Dog. <laughs> but no, you you still get them girls. That that's another reason why I kind of stopped. Cause like some girls they don't even be polite about it. They yeah. 
touch you, I'd be like, bro, yeah. what's it? <laughs> yeah, damn. <laughs> like, <laughs> dog, is, it, now, is that something you still like? You know, you I know you say you ain't doing the, you know the whole walkway doing show and stuff like, but do you still like modeling? That's the shit for you, or just strictly acting? Um, I am about to get back in, in a modeling bag mm -hmm. because that that part for my portfolio is gonna help me for sure. Facts. So I'm, I'm I am a little mad I fell off of it, but I know. Getting into it, taking them pictures, yeah. dressing up, going out, being seen. I know that's all gonna help. Yeah. When last time you uh you did you did the, um, did the model shit? Shit. Been a minute. <clears throat> right after I finished the Cheddar Boys, so oh. 2021. Okay. So okay. we finished Cheddar Boys in 2020, yeah. 2021 before my birthday. I went and took a bunch of pictures. Yeah. But I ain't some I, draws. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I I really I really stopped because, like, I get this whole sex symbol thing, but. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take pictures with every female. Yeah, for sure. And like, and like, whenever a photographer reached out to me, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. It was, oh, I need you with, with this girl mm -hmm. or with this girl. We're going to have you sit here with 10 girls around you. I'm like, that's kind of corny to me. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Man, dog. Yeah, I had I'm, to tap into it, man. I seen shit like, let me ask him about the mom in bed, dog. That's, yeah. that's a funny story, though. That nigga say off the rip, nigga. Hey, first, man, put, getting, you in this first, bitch. First show. Man. Bruh. And I be knowing, like, when niggas do stuff, like, everything can get you ladies, bro. And then, music, really, music, acting. What really made made me feel my confidence, it was cold in that bitch. Oh, yeah. And the girl still went crazy. I said, oh, yeah, we working. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we, we working. Good. <laughs> we good, nigga. When I bent the corner, it was cold. And, yeah. and they said, ooh! I said, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, they said, this bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> Make it hot, nigga. <laughs> Look, I, no, I, real real life, I did, I did feel a little self-conscious until, yeah. like, they they had it sectioned off because the girls was naked and the guys we st we turned our backs to each other but we had sure. got sure. naked because we had to get in certain type of underwear but mm -hmm. when I left from the section with the guys and I look at the eyes of the ladies and they kept looking mm -hmm. I'm like okay it's cold but we we got yeah, this yeah we all good we all <laughs> we good got this, so. yeah duh. you feel me I'm we good yeah. rock, <laughs> appreciate the love man what's your uh what's your definition of success man doing something you love mm -hmm. for sure. Cause like I, you you do that shit, man. For when you do something you love, is of course you want the money, but dog, you gonna uh, not necessarily. Yeah. So I mean, the money gonna come. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, but it's not it's not like the end but, all be all. So so for family ties, they they came to me and they was like they told me about the character. He's a different type of street nigga than the other ones I played, mm -hmm. and they was like, we can't pay you. Mm -hmm. I said, give it to me, cause I love being able to step into another bag. Yeah, for sure. But. Once we went further, they started paying me. Yeah. But it, originally, I took that like, I'll take it. Yeah, for sure. I got it. Yeah. Off the love, especially for time. Yeah, for, for coach. Sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm yours, my yeah, baby. Good dude, too, man. Yeah. Good dude. When he came to this motherfucker the first time, because I did two interviews with him. At first time, he like, hold on, we, we at the crib? That nigga was like, he said he had to call somebody let him know the address real quick just in case he was going crazy. <laughs> but no, he a good dude, dog. Yeah, good so, dude, dog. But yeah, like. And, and it's first, the first stage play I'm doing right now is for free. Okay. So a lot of stuff. This your first stage play? Mm hmm. Okay. A lot of stuff since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. but a lot of stuff, you, your pay is the experience. For sure. Fast. Like the chops I'm getting from doing stage and just being able to tap into this other character. Mm -hmm. Granted, they, like Thomas, they start paying me. It wasn't paid, mm -hmm. but the experience. Yeah, for sure. That, that resume, that. That other street character that people are gonna be able to tap into and be like, oh, he too, he he's a street nigga again. Yeah. But he he's a complete one eighty from, sure. from from Tukey yeah. to, to dog. Hell yeah. So, and niggas don't understand opportunity, dog. Like niggas just oh, yeah. think about a bag or a price or a money, or whatever. But that opportunity can lead to something even bigger. Like you took this free this free movie, this free gig, mm -hmm. that should lead you somewhere else. You getting the most money you ever yeah. got. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, but I'm, I'm I say that to say. Don't don't take that and come to me like, well, it's free. Yeah, yeah, every time. <laughs> price, price going up because we we really working, and the amount of work we put in mm -hmm. is like it's ridiculous. Yeah, 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 like people people know we we pulled a, a twenty it was twenty six hours we pulled a twenty six hour day out yeah. filming a serial cheater like we we work, yeah. and I'm and I'm another reason why I took that role with Tom for free is because I love their work ethic. Mm -hmm. The way they work behind the scenes motivate me in front of the camera. Okay. So, like, when niggas, like, that 26-hour day, mm -hmm. we hit hour 18. Niggas was like, y'all trying, trying to get this last shot? Yeah. I'm like, fuck Project. yeah. I like yeah. I like the way y'all work. Let's work. Yeah. We got so hyped. So, just working with people that's passionate like that. Yeah, that's why they got me like this. Yeah, man. So.
what's some young nigga shit versus some shit I've been through? Some shit that a uh, young and you was doing, but you don't agree with now looking back at that as an older dude. Dog and women. Okay. We we was dogs. Yeah, for sure. Thought that was the life. <clears throat> Man, at like six, four, before before I lost my virginity, at like 14, 15, we was dog and bitches. Like, and, and I, I really want to apologize to them women. Mm. I don't know y'all no more, though. Yeah, for sure. But, um, you see this. But the but the way we treated them, bro, that shit was terrible. Yeah, that shit sure. was terrible. Especially growing up, going through certain shit. Women be there for you more than your niggas. So no, no, for sure. I, I that's something I really regret. That's yeah. one thing in my life I would change. Okay, okay. Fourteen, nigga, I was just, I was, I was nigga, I was wish I could get some. Man. <laughs> no, because you got to think when it, my mama worked midnights. Oh yeah, so you so, got freedom like a motherfucker. So crib. we we out in Harper Woods. I start hanging out with people that's older mm-hmm. than me. They junior high school, junior in high school. Yeah. They found out my mama gone. They're like, shit, we could bring girls over. Yeah. I'm like, hell yeah, bring me one. I ain't know what to do with yeah, it, but for bring sure. it for yeah, me. Yeah. I'll, I'll figure it out. Man. Then yeah, Harper Woods, that's, that's the, um, I remember right when we moved to the birds, we was in Harper Woods, nigga, right there at Eastland Village, dog. I'm right behind Eastland Village. Yeah, Eastland Village. I went to, uh, I had to go to Gross Point North, dog. That's where I went. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. I remember the Kroger. Remember the Kroger used to have the two doors. Mm-hmm. I used to go in that bitch and steal lick, bro. Because well, at, at, after one time, at, at a certain time, they closed the one yeah. side. But all you gotta do is go twist that bitch, man. I'm... Bro, because <laughs> I moved over there. I moved over there, man. I stayed out there for three years. My mom and her uh, her boyfriend at the time, man. We couldn't go to Harper Woods High because our side yeah, was Gross Point. Yeah. We stayed right across the street from the fucking school, bro. Nigga, that shit we, ridiculous. Yeah. So we go. I, I went to the school Parcells for eighth grade. Uh, I got kicked out of there three times. <laughs> and then ninth and tenth grade, I was at Gross Point North. But then when they found out I moved back to the city, they like you can finish this off. But nigga, you out. Yeah. You out, nigga. I, that, I'm like nigga, these niggas ride their bikes to school. Like I'm like, oh this shit, nigga. I, my mom found that out. They get you a lot. Ride that bitch park in the little thing. Lock it up, dog. Man. Goddamn Gross Point North, dog. They they be on niggas' ass. That shit. Bands. Hey, they, they had some good ass lunches, like real lunches. Man, what? <laughs> what? Nigga, I, I I had TV technology class. Like, what the fuck? Bro, they got business classes. And they didn't, like, my freshman year, nobody told me about none of them classes. If they would have told me that stuff, I would have been taking stuff. They had uh, writing. Uh, they had a film class. I took good. film class in high school. Man, I had advanced food. Nigga, you in that Bro, bitch, your classroom was I'm in that bitch kitchen, cooking. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, for sure. nigga, we made cookies, and, and I got a grade for that. No, <laughs> for sure. Bro, like, we used to what? Sit, see, by the time I'm older than you, but we used to sit at this place, we used to call it the bench. The bench was right across from the office. So in between classes, all black people would meet up at the bench. There's a bench, there's a little payphone right there. I remember this nigga named Demario beat the fuck out of this white boy over there by the bench, dog. He, wait, he, he walked all the way over there just so we could see him do this shit, bro. Gross point no dog. I got lost in that bitch my first time. This bitch huge. Bro. Jim big as fuck. I played on the dog. team, man. Racist ass coach. I forgot who he was, dog. I think I know what you're talking about. When yeah. I got there, they got rid of his ass. Yeah, that nigga was like, they was like, dog, don't bring that Detroit ball here. I'm like, what? I played for a couple games, bro, and then I'm like, man, fuck you, dog. Yeah, but that, that's they my coach, he damn near tried to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. But then they they drill these don't don't go outside the system shit, mm-hmm. right? Then when we went and played Detroit teams, they talking about play ball. Mm-hmm. You don't let us, nigga. Hey, what? My, my nigga Marcel Maxwell used to be killing that bitch, dog. Man, hell yeah, man. Shout out to Gross Point North, dog. That was a, that was a straight school. No, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Nigga got the no, lead. Nigga got the lead for lunch and shit. They, they, bro. So, some bullshit happened my senior year. Mm-hmm. Somebody lied and said I did something, mm-hmm. so they kicked me out for it. Yeah. Yeah, fuck Gross Point North, damn yeah, bro. Gross Point South was some racist ass niggas, though. Man. <laughs> boy, boy, we, just, after games, we used to beat so many people ass at that bitch. Duh, racist ass. Them little, school. them little white boy on the basketball team, just nigger. <laughs> oh, bro, yeah. they they said this shit to my homeboy from Atlanta. Man, they, Jamal hulked his ass. Jamal was like six five. Man, man, fist like <laughs> gorilla bro, fist. That bitch. Boy hit a, hit the wrong turn. You know they put these little gates up so you can't go to certain players. Yeah. Boy hit the corner. Jamal say, wow. Clear them. Jamal with them big ass fists. <laughs> uh, boy bent over like Jamal. Like, bitch, bitch, bitch. I'm like, bro, stop. We gotta no, go. I'm about to kill this white boy, man. Again, Gross Point South was racist man. as fuck. I mean, Gross Point North probably was a little racist, but we had more black people. At yeah, they, but they got in line, though. Yeah. I, had, I had one white boy. Nigga ain't no. Nigga. I don't, you know how to get a school directory. Mm-hmm. I know where you stay at. Yeah. That boy, that boy pulled up on me, said some reckless shit, and yanked off. I pulled by his mama crib. I walked in the backyard. His homeboy seen me. Locked himself in the car. 
Duh. That nigga darted in the house. <laughs> I said, yeah, bro, it's like that. Man, I went back to school the next day. They was like, come here. Man, <laughs> you can't Har- be going to people's houses. Harper Woods and East Point, <laughs> when I remember we first moved, it was white. Next thing you know, all niggas start moving Harper Woods and East oh, Point. Yeah. Duh. Damn, good, good times, bro, good times. <laughs> but shit, man, we always end everything off with a, a versus, man. I give you two two things, mm-hmm. two people. You tell me who'll win. Doughboy Cash out versus Team Issa. What the fuck you gonna do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> I know people from both sides. Yeah. You gotta go Doughboy Cash out though. They yeah, they, they changed the I shit know up. What, damn, come on, why you do this? <laughs> Doughboys, I'm gonna go Doughboys. All right, Vezo versus Peasy. My baby Peasy. Yeah, yeah, Peasy, man. I, I I got hipped him late, dog. But yeah, Peasy be going crazy. P, Peasy, another genuine person, bro. For sure. I, remember, I met Peasy when I first started fighting my cases. For sure. He another genuine one. Hell Shout yeah. out to Peasy. Hell yeah, dog. Chris now or Chris back in the day? Chris now. This this nigga got some sense. Hell yeah. That, that, nigga, back, that nigga back then was stupid. Hell yeah, dog. <laughs> I was, you want you a thick chick or a slim thick chick? A mentally right chick. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> no, but like I said, I don't discriminate, but sure. to have fun with yeah. slim thick. Okay. But them thick chicks know how to cook. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Speaking of cooking, dog, you want that motherfucker a stiff macaroni or with that creamy shit? I like that creamy shit. I like. Oh, that. you like the shit? Hold on. Like when you. Oh, this nigga talk sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got a piece that lady. You talk to at all times. No, boy. <laughs> All right, nigga, you want Thanksgiving, dog. You, what you going to, the ham or the turkey? Turkey. Turkey? Yeah. Are you the first person, nigga? I'm like, I eat a whole fucking ham, nigga, in this yeah. bitch. I, I, listen, when I, when I was locked up reading that Bible, bro, I, oh. I don't touch certain shit no more. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Christmas what? versus Thanksgiving. Christmas, because of what Thanksgiving stand for. Yeah, I'm going to get deep. This, <laughs> this, you're, you're celebrating massacres, bro. Yeah. The food sure. good, though. No, for sure. For sure. I, think, <laughs> I think with black people, bro, we don't necessarily celebrate the holiday. We just celebrate getting around yeah, family. Yeah, that's we, what we be knowing the bullshit behind yeah. everything, though. But like, for I, when I say celebrate, I mean them people that no, no, decorate. Yeah, shit. I'll be like, yeah. bro, you know what you celebrating, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like that shit, and, and then people wonder why. Once you start paying attention to shit, mm-hmm. like I said, I'm gonna get a little deep. Once you start paying attention to shit, you start realizing why you go through so much negative shit. For sure. People that really celebrate Thanksgiving, you're celebrating a massacre of the native people of this land. Mm-hmm. Then your year be going bad, you wondering why. Yeah. Them <laughs> niggas haunting you, nigga. What the <laughs> fuck? You getting hunted. <laughs> Stop. The daylight versus nightlife. Oh shit. Daylife now, but old Chris nightlife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chilling in the streets or chilling with your family? Family. Yeah, got to, got to, dog. Of course, I I know you about to say acting versus modeling. Acting, for sure. Hell yeah, dog. Uh, Boys in the Hood versus Menace to Society. Oh, Menace to Society. Hell yeah, dog. My nigga, yeah. old dog, Kane, that bitch. Old dog was crazy. Old, old dog, he he one of them motivating. He's a motivator for those type of characters. Yeah. So. I'm telling you, they should have did a movie off of that about the young dog like how he grew up yeah nigga he saved on the big wheel that bitch <laughs> <laughs> like what, what what was his life like though he moved man. to atlanta that nigga went out there and turned atlanta out boy man <laughs> that'd be dope dog um he got game versus white man can't jump he got game you got ray allen and denzel yeah dog yeah. i cried into that movie dog this is because my pops and shit, nigga. I'm that they, bitch, nigga. Like, looking at that nigga went back to jail. Like, they, damn. They did boy so dirty. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah. And I want to know what happened to him, nigga. He went to college, nigga. Did you be a success cuz? What happened to Jesus? I mean, shit. Ray Allen went to the league. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the rest of the movie. Wayne Brothers. Championship. Yeah, like, Wayne Brothers versus Jamie Foxx. <sighs> Those are good shows, ain't it? Man. Hate and me. then Jamie. <laughs> this nigga hate, hate Wayne Brothers, dog. Man, Jamie Foxx is a, he's a big motivator for me, but I'm gonna go Wayne's Brothers. Yeah, yeah, cause this I, nigga hate Wayne Brothers, yeah. dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's my <laughs> shit, dog. Trash. All right, pops a legend. Ain't from the city. This old school. Don't think about how he look now. That's mm-hmm. it, though. That's it. We're talking about pops. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Without pops, that show is trash. <laughs> don't don't have niggas thinking crazy, boy. <laughs> old school. This Neil Long versus Jay Pickett. How you? Yeah, Nia. Old school. Yeah, Neil, man. man. Friday? Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Coming down the sure. block? Looking bad. Now, I ain't going to say Friday 1. Take down the court. Friday 2 versus Friday 3. 2. Okay. Hell yeah. It's in that order. One, two, Rancho three. Cucamonga. Hell yeah. Old girl's bad. <laughs> that bitch too. Craig has some bad ones. Man. <laughs> Craig has a bad chick, dog. All right, dog. Dark, li- dark liquor versus white liquor. Dark. If you had to wear a shoe for the rest of your life, the white Air Force 1 versus the Jordan 1. 
the original Jordan ones, the white, red, and black ones. White ones, they go with everything. And plus, yeah. I ain't, I've never owned a pair of Jordan ones. I never owned a pair of white ones. I've never owned a pair of Jordan ones. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday coming up Christmas coming up I've never owned a pair of Jordan 1's <laughs> which camera I say it to this <laughs> <laughs> alright we end everything off man a drunk moment or a high moment bro give me a story when you were drunk high or both oh uh, drunk moment for my birthday uh no for um for a premiere mm -hmm. I wore these motherfucking woody boots they call them the woody boots right I go to the premiere I get, I'm gonna show you a picture of them I go to the premiere, I get drunk as hell, I come back, I'm kicking it with my sister. Yeah. It's a bunch of people over there. They didn't get to come to the premiere with me because they only had we only had one theater. So we go back, I'm celebrating drinking with them. I pass out with the shoe on. <laughs> Bro, I woke up, it's clear tape on the back of that on the bottom of the boot talking about Andy. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> and they got me fucked up. I'm I'm passed out, flipped upside down on the couch. They wrote Andy on my shit. Bro, what were you drinking? Everything light Man. and dark. I was it's, it's a, it, um it was the Asbury Park premiere. Okay, okay. Yeah. Asbury Park. That's my man. Um, what's that was man best right? Uh, damn, OG Bobby Johnson. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, the nigga from Lean on me too, right? The and nigga. uh, Steel from Juice. Steel, yeah, yeah. nigga, the nigga Steel. That's Steel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's that's a fun drunk moment. Yeah. It, it was another one. That this is some. I don't. I don't remember the night. I blacked out. Yeah. No niggas. When you black out, bro, it's like when I did that shit, I remember like certain parts of the night. I don't remember shit. Like, yeah. like I remember this was, I got my first job. Okay. Little $180 check. I'm like, yeah. shit, I'm balling. <laughs> and I'm, I'm one of my only friends with a car. I get the car. We pull up to this house party. There's some hoes in that bitch. Preserve. And I'm getting off. I'm like, shit, we getting off. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting numbers. I'm doing my thing. My dumb ass, we leave. This where I like halfway black out at. <laughs> I, I walk. I I, rem, I don't remember getting the liquor. I remember grabbing my man's. We pulled back up. I didn't know this dog mama came home. Yeah. I got a fifth of grade goose. I walk in the back door. It's up. We about to cut the fuck up. The mama like, no, the fuck you not. You got to go. Yeah. And there was some bitches in there. We. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, some ladies. They wasn't black women. There was some bitches in there. All right, baby. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, so so we, we walk them out. The last thing I remember, bro, it literally looked like a camera in front of us. I'm in the middle with the bottle. Yeah. There's a girl walking with me, my homeboy with a girl, my other homeboy with a girl. Yeah. And I vividly remember, it's like an outer body experience. I remember me walking across the street back to my car. My homeboys, I blacked out at that point. My homeboy say, I left from there in Warren, drove, no, in East Point, drove to Roseville. Oh, you tripping. Sat, sat with this bitch on my lap. I'm kissing her, playing with her. Man. I'm blacked out at they crib. We do that. Then I go drop another girl off. I go drop. I, I remember seeing me dropping my man's off. <laughs> I remember driving to his house. I remember on the road, by, pulling in his driveway. Yeah. I woke up. I woke up in my bed. Don't know how the fuck you got there. I don't even remember the girl. Man. I don't remember kissing the girl. I don't remember nothing. I might have got her number and man. never called. Might have got pregnant. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, 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 listen. <laughs> no. <Man. laughs> that be fucked up. Fuck fucked up. <laughs> fucked up. The movies come out. She pop out. The little nigga look like him. I be like, damn. Wow. Oh, like, shit. That's you? Oh, shit, dog. Like, like, when we do this? Man. You don't remember me sitting on your lap? I was sitting on more than your yeah. lap. Hell yeah. You had that great goose in that bitch. And nigga got I loose. Enjoy, I enjoyed great, great goose sense. Bro, that, that, I think that's. Well, I think that was my first liquor drinking. Then oh. I started drinking cheap, super cheap shit. No, then I, I blacked out in Miami. My first time going to Miami with uh, this nigga blackout. My, nigga. my home, I don't, I don't drink. Um, I don't even know if they make the liquor no more. Yeah. But my homeboy Vidal, my friend Natasha, and my other friend uh, Alicia, we went to Miami. Crazy. So <laughs> me, me and Dog, me and him go out by ourselves. It's two girls, me, but we all friends. Mm -hmm. So me and him go out by ourselves. We got book bags on. These two girls, cold girls from Chicago, run yeah. up on us. They 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 run up on us like, y'all got weed? We like, no, yeah. we we looking for some. Well, my man's was, I don't really smoke. Yeah. They like, well, somebody told us run up on whoever got the book bags. Y'all yeah. got weed? We like, no, but shit, we can link later. Yeah. We get their numbers. They're like, yeah, 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 yeah. We get to drinking. I black out <laughs> in the room before before we left, right? Bro, listen. <laughs> 
I black out in the room before we leave. Yeah. I wake up the next day. I'm like, y'all bitches ain't shit. Y'all left me. Yeah. They talking about we ain't leave you. You left out with us. Yeah. And then what? So so they they tell me like okay. After we got done taking shots, you was laid on the bed looking fucked up, but we got you up. Yeah. We all left out. We went to a club. You and Videl dipped off by yourself. Yeah. Videl say he took me to the room with the girls. Yeah. Right? He told me I ain't do nothing wild. I'm, I'm so thankful he I said bet, this. Bet, yeah, you smack out. But, but he, he said he went, he left, he came back. I'm in the room, one girl sitting on my lap, and it's gay niggas in the room. Yeah. Two gay niggas. Yeah. I'm like, bro, What? <laughs> what? So he said he came back and got me because he, he took our friend. So he came back and got me. We all walking down the street. At the time, I was trying to be a Marine. Yeah. So I'm down that bitch, blizzarding, drunk, hollering, Duh. hoorah, yelling at niggas. Uh, he said we walking down the street. Somebody offered us shots. Yeah. And he said, I, I looked at the lady. I'm like, he said, I told her, I'm too fucked up to take this. Snatched that bitch and said, fuck it. It's a double shot. Threw that bitch back. This is wild, man. They say, I told this one nigga, this one big ass nigga was walking with his bitch. I got to grab, reaching out, oh, pulling her funny, hand, though. talking crazy. Then he say we was walking. <laughs> Two seconds later, he turned around. I was gone. Duh. I was gone. I disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga then my homegirl Tasha say, "You called me. You was you didn't you didn't have a key to get back in the room. You yeah. were sitting in front of the hotel throwing up." This nigga go crazy, dog. Bro. Hey, man, keep y'all drinks away from this, man. <laughs> this nigga blackout <laughs> Listen, this bitch, every, Everything I ever blacked out off of, I don't drink no more. Now, I be a dope movie called Blackout. Nigga just, a couple stories from that nigga just blacking out, doing wild, crazy, man. belligerent shit, dog. Yeah, so now I be hey, trying to... write that shit, cuz. Give me your name. I was just gonna sit in the corner like, nigga, you blacked out I be trying to watch what I drink now, so... Yo, what's your, what's your go-to drink now? Like, Hennessy. just a sip on Hennessy? Hennessy. Oh, yeah, I can't... I'll, you talking blacking out, nigga. <laughs> I can't fuck no hand dog, no, man. Hennessy, I do, I do like two shots straight. Yeah. Then I put in some apple juice and I chill, sip that for the yeah, rest please, of the night. Dog, please, dog, we don't need I'll you be, in this bitch blacking out going crazy, dog. <laughs> niggas this bitch touching on motherfucking niggas, girls and shit, dog. <laughs> Nigga, man, always man. got a chick on his lap, though. Hey, <laughs> man. Hey, man, I appreciate you coming on this motherfucker, dog. Appreciate y'all for having me. It was a pleasure, man. bro, man. Give people uh, where they can follow you on socials and shit, man. Follow me at uh, on Instagram at Chris the letter C one underscore official. Mm. Uh, Facebook, Christopher Collins. My face gonna pop up. Don't follow me on Twitter because I only got that shit for Call of Duty. <laughs> um, I plan on streaming sometime soon. Yeah. What to tell YouTube page, man? You ain't got two women bitches. I thought you were gonna do that shit. I just be so stuck in studying. Yeah. I, I got a video that I'm actually about to put together and drop for the Christmas movie. Okay. It's, okay. it's all the behind the scenes, the making of the movie. For sure. I'm about to drop that. I'm glad you said something reminded me. Yeah, man. I, I, was, you know, I do my research like, damn, this nigga got two videos and he said, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because my thing, I was going to start recording like everything I do, but like the space I need and everything that I need, I was just, mm -hmm. I just got out of it. I need to, sure. I'm about to get back to it. For sure, for so sure. Christmas movie uh, vlog coming soon. Um, What is my, uh, I don't be on Snapchat. Yeah. Uh, It's called TikTok. Yeah. Chris something, somebody actor. I'll post it on I'll post it on Instagram. <laughs> yeah, you can follow his Instagram and shit, <laughs> You wanna leave some people with some motivation words up? Uh follow your heart, stay true, and don't lie to people. Yeah, please don't. Ain't no point though. Y'all too yeah. too grown be lying. Too shit, grown. Man. Hell yeah. Hey man, like I said, man, I appreciate you coming through, man. Appreciate you. Episode one thirty eight, man. Chris Collins in this bitch, man. Yes, Podcast sir. MVP, Voice of Detroit. We out. We gone.